Hey guys. So I'm actually gonna do a quick video and I have to be really fun because I have particular stuff that I really want to do right now. Ah goodness. There's so many things I really want to say, but since um it's gonna be like my other video that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna say um I actually want to talk about one particular topic, but I think I can talk about, um, okay, fine. I need to start with the fact that I'm on my natural face. <laughs> no filter, no makeup. I'm just like rocking my natural face because I just want you guys to know how my face looks like. <laughs> oh, goodness. So that the next time you see me with makeup, you know that, oh, yes, this is how my face looks like. <laughs> because I realize that so many things on social media, everybody's doing, um, you know, Everybody's trying to, you know, look so beautiful outside. Uh, even the inside is something else entirely. Okay, so I I have so many things I actually want to touch. But I want to first of all start with um, the aspect of um, singles rushing into marriage and everything. You know, throughout this, um, that was um, last week, I had a conversation with my sister and her friend. And they were giving a very good counseling about the fact and good reason why single children rush and enter into marriages. Because they talk so many things about responsibilities that you, you as a single, you are not ready or financially capable to go into. Okay, And she was actually also um, emphasizing more on we ladies that um, you know ladies needs to really understand that you need to be financially independent before you actually think that you want to get into marriage because there will be a particular point whereby your husband will just you know be acting so weird so strange and so many other things and you too you'll be wondering that is this not the man that i've married for maybe like two years three years or four years now so what she was just trying to say is that we ladies need to be very independent. We need to go and get skills. We need to go and get an education or something that can make us be financially independent that will not make us, you know, to be dependent more on our husband, but we can also support them and everything. That you need to have something first before you actually think, oh, fine, I want to enter into this covenant of marriage. I want to be with this man. I want to do this. And you also need to look at a man also. Is the man actually ready? Does he have those basic things that you think that once you get into it, you will not suffer? Because most men of nowadays, you know, they might actually look so cool to you. They might actually be so sweet, so romantic, so lovely and everything. But that does not mean that once you enter, it's going to be that way. There are always going to be ups and downs. And if you are not this type of person that is prayerful or somebody that has this attitude of tolerating things or somebody that is patient or somebody that can that can understand, that knows how to communicate and so many other things. Because when you get into marriage, you are marrying another family, which is your husband family. So you have to learn how to work with them. There are going to be so many things that they'll be doing and you just be like, oh my goodness, I've just entered in. So she said so many things and I was just like, she has a point. And I really want to talk to her ladies. I'm not saying that, not settling down right now, at a early stage it's not a bad thing but you have to have something because if you don't have something then what exactly are you going to put on the table once you enter into it okay fine even if you say you want to marry somebody like, like David do <laughs> assurance you want to marry somebody that you know has um no, is a billionaire, is a millionaire, just like novels, you know. I do read novels a lot and they do say so many sweet things that can make you dream. But in reality, sometimes you might not actually meet such kind of people. But some people are so blessed and so lucky to meet such, such kind of men in their life and they end up being with those kind of men. But that doesn't mean it's for everyone. So you actually need to know and study yourself and know if you're truly ready and prepared to enter into that battle of marriage. I call it battle of marriage because there are so many things you're going to go through. So if you are not ready and if you are not yet prepared yet and if you don't have some certain qualities, it's not just about wife material, some certain qualities that will make your relationship stronger and build it to become better. Then the other aspect I actually want to talk about on my video, I was with one of my customers and he actually buttressed a point that I actually want to say. He said that the men that we have nowadays now, they are not ready to work. They are very, very lazy. Let me share an experience of this recent one that just happened. A, a man, a strange man that I don't know, actually asked me 
for 3,000 naira, me, a hustler, I know how I'm making my money. And I know sometimes it's not that really easy. Sometimes you might see people making her looking so beautiful and everything, but that does not mean that they really, you don't know what's going on. And I was wondering that how would a man have such courage to ask me, a young lady, a young adult, you understand, ask me. As in, he had that mind, and I was like, ah, ah. You understand? So I had to make him know that guy, that Nigeria we day, you also, you need to also. That's as I must think, you to go and also. I may God find you favor. I shall not try. As in, I don't understand. And the man said that such kind of men are very irresponsible. That this kind of men, they are looking for women that have something so that they can be able to, you know, collect money from them and they be able to use it on themselves. They be able to take care, good care of yourself. That is nonsense. You understand? So the man says too many things. And I, and I really, really want to talk to our men. Our men, you need to, you need to go and also. And he said something. I really want to quote that. That's um that's what they said. It said that um if you don't hold it now, that time you are actually thinking you want to enjoy it. That is when you start holding it. So you want to it early so that you can be able to enjoy it. And that's the truth. This is a time for every young man to be so active in trying to make enemies for himself and to prepare for his future because drinking, womanizing and doing all sorts of things, going for party and everything, there's nothing bad in it but once you do not plan yourself then just be prepared for so many circumstances that will just come your way and don't say that um, is, is Nigeria or is this, but it is you yourself. You need to think about yourself. You need to focus on yourself. You need to know what exactly do you want, okay? I've seen, I, I've seen so many young men, so many young single guys who are really doing great, who have skills, and they're making good use of it. So I don't see anything bad for a man to go out and work. If it is carpentry, do it. If it is shoemaking, do it. If it is um, air dressing, do it. We have men that they make air. If it is something, go and get a skill. I was talking to one of my friends who was just putting education on his head. And I gave him an advice. I said, my brother, now Nigeria we day. So education, how much will they pay you if you are working for a company? Let's say maybe 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 30,000. Is it going to, it is, there are some things it will not even, it will not even put on the table. You still have to go and look for something else, make maybe loan money or do something just to be able to, you know, pay for some certain bills. So there are so many things I really want to say, but I'm just gonna stop now. I want you guys to subscribe to my my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just starting. <laughs> so please subscribe to my channel. I'm just starting and I hope you guys really learned a lot. So there's gonna be more. Actually, I want to really talk more about this acrimony movie, but <laughs> there is no time. So but I know that the guy and the lady they are both at fault, okay? And that's another thing relating to this actually topic I'm talking about. You know, those two people, they did not really define their relationship. They just entered into marriage because they felt it's a bed of rules. And at the end of the day, they separated and they killed each other. So whose fault is that? So we need to, you know, we all need to think of ourselves. We all need to think of our future. We all need to think of the people that are going to come into this world. What impact are we going to make in their life? So uh, we should stop thinking about our own self, but think about the people that are around us. You know, that's why you see so many married women telling we ladies that are still single that we should be careful, we should shine our eye and all those things. You understand? So ladies, open your eyes. Love is not blind. Do not stay in a relationship whereby you are not you are not feeling that love. You, you are not feeling that happiness. You are not you are not in fact you don't feel okay. Okay, just leave. It's so simple and that person will come for you. Okay, there's nothing bad in being single right now. <laughs> so guys, so just um subscribe to my channel. It's still new. So keep following and bye.